When I was around five, I asked my mom why some people were different colors, and she said, because God wanted a lot of flavors. And let me tell you, that was the wrong thing to say, because for the next three years, I thought God ate people when they died. While I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a clapping, as if ass cheeks gently clapping, clapping at my chamber door. Tis a visitor, I muttered, dummy thick, and nothing more. All right, since they changed Philosopher's Stone to Sorcerer's Stones for America, I decided to change the rest since us Americans are too dumb to understand the word philosophers. Harry Potter and the Whisper Snake Place. Harry Potter and that mean jail man. Harry Potter and the Hot Cup. Harry Potter and the Bird Club. Harry Potter and the guy with only some blood. And Harry Potter and Dust. So I was having a conversation with a friend about interesting D&D moments. He decides to tell me about one player who fulfilled his role a little differently. So this guy creates a half-orc rogue, okay? Okay. Different, but it could work. The thing is, he puts no points into stealth. Uh, what? Instead, he only does intimidation. He cranked the points really high. So whenever he needed to perform a stealth check, he just walk up to the people he's sneaking by and yell, You can't see, Grog! And because of his intimidation points, the people would just respond in fear, I can't see you! I can't see you! Now that is how you play Dungeons and Dragons. If you call it the waifu catalog one more time, I'm calling the cops. My DM to me when I mentioned the monster manual. I had a question, and I answered it. Mm, I'm scared! Uh-uh, don't like that! No, no, go away, go away! What is that face? It's 2017. You're working on a PowerPoint for school. It's about ancient Egypt. You select the papyrus font. Yes. Perfect. From a 9th century Irish manuscript, the phrase Massive Hangover, written in the ancient Irish text Agam, the monk must have been really having a rough day. The exact translation is Ale Killed Us, which is somehow better. Today I learned Pope Gregory the Ninth condemned the black cat as an incarnation of Satan, and consequently, it was the death warrant for the animal. This is worse than the black deaths a century after Gregory's time because the plague was spread by rats, which were unchecked in Europe due to the decline of cat numbers. What I'm hearing is the Catholic Church was responsible for the plague. And what I'm feeling is not surprise. Did you yeet today, or did today yeet you? I noticed some of y'all were yoded today. Hang in there. You'll live to eat another day. Good idea. Marry a blacksmith so you can get free swords whenever. Hmm, better idea. Become a miner and then marry a blacksmith so he can have the required materials for you to get free swords whenever. And truly the woke idea? Make a harem and marry a full production chain. Now that is an anime I want to see. Stab wound? You mean extra pocket. Nobody on this website should be allowed outside, I swear to God. DM, you lose your balance and fall backwards, and as you land, you hear something in your bag break. Warlock, remembering he has four jars of live bees in his bag. <laughs> oh no! Damn, they really glowed down because that first bottle is gorgeous. That first bottle deadass looks like it's gonna make you shoot crows out of your hands. The first bottle is also full of liquidized cocaine, so it will make me feel like I can shoot crows out of my hands. My 19-year-old brother put sports bottle lids on his chocolate milk. Thank you for sharing his wisdom with us. Bards are too powerful. They can learn mass suggestion. All they have to do is yell, Everybody clap your hands! And make up to 12 people do the cha-cha slide for 24 hours. Don't ever mess with the bards! Don't do it! The ninth floor has temporarily been moved to the 15th floor. Also, Wednesday has been cancelled due to scheduling errors. What is this, Hogwarts? 